हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ पैथोलॉजी हम स्किन की पैथोलॉजी कर रहे हैं ट्यूमरस कंडीशन डिस्कस कर रहे हैं टूडे द टॉपिक इज गोइंग टू बी द फर्स्ट ऑफ द मिलेनासिटिक प्लॉरिफ्रेशन अब तक जो हम बात कर रहे थे वी टॉक्ट अबाउट स्क्वाम सेल कार्सिनोमा वी टॉक्ट अबाउट बेजल सेल कार्सिनोमा दीज आर बोथ एपीडर्मल और एपीथीलियल टाइप ऑफ ट्यूमर प्रोलिफ्रेशन यू नो दैट इन अवर स्किन वी ऑल्सो हैव मिलेनोसाइट्स and melanocytes which give you color of your skin they also have a tendency to go malignant or they have a tendency to proliferate more than what is required so that is then known as melanocytic proliferation melanocyte key proliferation okay aur usme pehla lesion hai this is called melanocytic nevi okay so let's start talking about it strictly speaking the term nevus denotes any congenital lesion of the skin melanocytic nevus however refers to benign congenital or acquired neoplasm of melanocytes so listen to this very carefully ye agar a loan word use kiya jata hai nevus iska matlab hai any congenital lesion of the skin melanocytic nevus matlab congenital lesion lekin ye actually baad mein bhi acquire hota hai so it is a lesion of the skin which includes melanocyte proliferation it can be congenital it can be acquired and uh, it is usually benign okay ab ye aam zaban mein samjhao aapko jo hum kehte hain na til kisi ka beautiful face hai aur uske lips ke paas yahan beautiful sa ek til hai ya gal par yahan kahin til hai to ye jo til hai jisko aap aam zaban mein mole bhi kehte hain this is basically uh, what we are talking about so you can be born with this or you can logo mein baad mein bhi til develop hote hain you know that right so moles baad mein bhi develop hote hain but what actually they are so if you talk about this particular lesion that's actually a skin lesion isko hum khoobsurti ki alamat to kehte hain kehte hain na ki kisi ka til hai kitna pyara lag raha hai neck pe til hai kitna pyara lag raha but that's actually a proliferative lesion of the skin jisme melanocyte overgrow kar gaye hain but luckily this is a benign condition okay now melanocytic nevi are benign neoplasms caused by somatic gain of function mutation in braf or ras so these genes are in, involved basically in um, proliferative pathways and if they have a gain of function mutation yani ki sequence mein mutation hai usse inka function mazid badh gaya so there will be mazid proliferation okay nevi are derived from melanocytes pigment producing cells hote hain melanocytes ki baat aapko pata hi hai and they are interspersed among the basal keratinocytes so if you uh, main khud se hi bana ke dikha deta hu aapko so if this is the uh, basement membrane these are the basal cells basal cells ke beech mein ye melanocytes is tarah se hote hain so interspersed in the basal layer of the keratinocytes okay you will recall that braf encodes for a serine threonine kinase pata nahi aap recall kar bhi rahe hain ya nahi <laughs> biochemistry mein ye karte hain hum log Um, which lies uh, downstream of the ras pathway and experimental evidence suggests that unbridled braf ras signaling initially induces melanocyte proliferation followed by senescence how these opposing effects are coordinated is actually unclear so ye path mein main to suggest karunga iske bhi detail mein aap na jaye itna yaad rakhenge there is braf and ras mutation which is gain of function mutation okay uh, if you remember this uh, that is fine but it is believed that the break on the proliferation provided by induced senescence explains why very few nevi actually transform into malignant thing na to ye till actually moles transform nahi hote malignant mein because cell senescence hoti hai unke baad wahan mamla ruk jata hai they don't usually uh, transform into melanomas which is a very very uh, i would say lethal condition indeed the growth and migration of the nevus cell from the dermo epidermal junction into the underlying dermis is accompanied by morphologic changes that are taken as evidence of cellular senescence so i'll talk about this a little more about the migration of melanocytes abhi baat karte hain superficial nevus are larger and they tend to produce melanin pigment and grow in nests deeper nevus are smaller produce little or no pigment and grow in cords or single cells so aapko sirf skin ke surface pe ye nevi nahi dikhte they are also deeper nevi ये इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है ठीक है द डीपेस्ट नेवस सेल्स हैव फ्यूजिफॉर्म कॉन्टोर्स एंड दे ग्रो इन फैसिकल्स दिस सीक्वेंस ऑफ मॉर्फोलॉजिक चेंजेस इज ऑफ डायग्नोस्टिक इंपॉर्टेंस सिंस दे आर एब्सेंट फ्रॉम मेलानोमा सो मेलानोमा इज ऑल टूगेदर डिफरेंट स्टोरी विल टॉक अबाउट मेलानोमाज इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो बट दिस इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट डायग्राम टू कंसिडर है सो 
Um, in this diagram, what we are looking at is possible steps in the development of a melanocytic nemi. This is the normal skin architecture. You see there is the basement membrane here. This is the basement membrane and this is the dermis because here is a blood vessel. This is the epidermis because there are different layers of keratinocytes and this is what we call dermo-epidermal junction. The basement membrane, this is called the dermo-epidermal junction. And you see the first layer of cells sitting on the basement membrane these are the basal cells and interspersed among the basal cells are these beautiful cells these are melanocytes and now you see here so this is all normal right this is normal skin and now in uh, uh, B you see junctional nevi as the name indicate they are at the junction of the epidermis and dermis so right there right at the dermo epidermal junction they are junctional nevi then you see compound nevi so compound nevi are junctional as well as deep dermal nevi okay then you see intradermal so they are purely in the dermis you don't see them in the epidermis then there is intradermal nevus with extensive cellular senescence so there are cells which are dying right so these are different characteristic features of uh, nevi which uh, are present at different locations of your skin okay now clinically speaking there are numerous various types of melanocytic nevi with varied appearances although these lesions usually are only of cosmetic concern but they may cause irritation or mimic melanoma requiring surgical removal Compound and interdermal nevi often are more elevated than junctional nevi. So that's a piece of uh, uh, advice if you are looking at the nevi and if you want to differentiate between the different categories, right? Now, um, so so that's that's all very uh, important discussion. Here also is a diagram. Just make a few minutes span. So here you are also looking at a melanocytic nevi. So these nevi are relatively small. So you, you see these nevi, yeah? they are symmetric, uniformly pigmented. Uh, a nevus composed of melanocytes that lose the pigmentation and become smaller and more dispersed as they extend into the dermis. All signs that speak to the benign nature of, of proliferation. So what we are basically telling you here is showing you a gross appearance of a nevus and then a microscopic appearance of a nevus. Um, all benign uh, features. No uh, atypia, no dysplasia, no uh, uh, nuclear cytoplasmic ratio disturbances. So no feature of malignancy basically. Right? Okay. And then there are so many, we uh, dermatology in lectures, discuss karte, there are so many appearances of nevi. So they can be flat on the surface, they can be uh, like this one, appearing like a bump, a uh, papule appearance. So there can be different varieties and different uh, characteristics of nevi. But again, the overall good news about melanocytic nevi, that they are primarily benign. Okay. Uh, a bit about morphology. Common melanocytic nevi are tend to brown, uniformly pigmented, small papules, and well-defined round borders, as we see in the figure. Early lesions are composed of round to oval cells, uh, which grow in nests, uh, and they are junctional, compound, intradermal. Just remember this diagram. Okay. आप अपनी बॉडी पे चेक करें आपकी बॉडी पे भी इस तरह के बहुत सारे नवाय कहीं ना कहीं होंगे. But then there is another category which I will actually discuss in the next video, which is called dysplastic nevus. Now dysplastic, as the name indicates, there will be a component of dysplasia. So we'll talk about this in the next video. Uh, till then, take care of yourself.